I'm Lorena. I work at Emerson and I do market analysis, but I'm a civil engineer. Hi, I'm Harriet and I'm a sales support engineer for the flame and gas division at Emerson Process Management. Hi, my name is Shruti and I'm working as a control systems engineer at Emerson Process Management. What does a typical day in your role involve then? A typical day normally involves a lot of activities such as meeting with clients and project team members, uh, designing uh, the documents and co configuring the system and sometimes testing and implementing the design system with clients. Tell us about your way into engineering then, it wasn't conventional maybe was it? No, well <laughs> it doesn't need to be something that you already thought your life, like in my case I, I did environmental science first, I thought it was fantastic way to you know go to the environment and help but uh, engineering is very practical so that's where I apply my knowledge and then I go like sustainable buildings energy efficiency all the stuff so it was a bit of a second route but very good way where do you think it'll take you in the future then if you've changed so much in such a short time <laughs> in 10 years well, no, where are you gonna be the good thing about engineering is the transferable skills so now I do business analysis and planning so that can bring me to the business and the management side of the of the company as well as going into the technical route so who knows <laughs> well at school when we were about 15 we had this initiative called take your daughter to work day i ended up going in with a family friend um, he worked in engineering and i really enjoyed it uh, i then worked kind of three summers kind of from 15 to university there is a uh, summer jobs, and I think that is really where my interest came from. This is a very unusual type of cactus that I've never seen before. <laughs> well, I'm going to explain you this cactus then. This is Emerson in a nutshell. So we provide for a process industry, let's think about a refinery, the control system, which is the brain of it, and the instrumentation, which is in the pipe work, and also the valves which are behind and they control all the system then we get the fuel to our house. So have you always been interested in engineering? Yes, I enjoyed science and technology since childhood and this inspired me to be an engineer. Science has been a favourite subject uh, in school. Which science um, in particular? I enjoyed conducting experiments in physics and chemistry so that was my interest. Not so much biology. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Same. It's always rewarding to see the developed system uh, perform on real time. Recently I was part of a chemical engineering project which is now up and running. It makes me proud to be a part of that team. My most interesting experience, it will have been my project. So I started from zero, designing an experiment, building it, going over all the challenges and the problems and at the end of the day getting the results and now it's part of a further, uh, further research and it will help people so that makes me really proud. A couple months ago I visited site to install and commission one of our gas detectors. It was really really good to see it actually um, up and working and in the environment it's meant for. It's all well and good seeing it in the workshop but until you see it on site it really puts it in perspective. Back to where we started to ask for a one-line piece of advice for anyone looking to maybe go into engineering. The best thing about being an engineer, in my opinion, is to, is the ability to change the world by designing and developing new products. Always make sure that you do things you enjoy. Don't do a subject um, or an experience that you think you should do. Make sure that you enjoy it and then you'll end up in a job where you enjoy as well. So my piece of advice would be to do whatever you like, don't think it's all about maths and science, it's all about fun, it's challenging and engineering is the most rewarding profession ever. Mm -hmm.